If you have a constant pressure system and you find that the pump is not working properly, you might want to diagnose these problems yourself. On a constant pressure system, you always have an electrical controller like this. Now this is a really big one because this is a commercial job, but you might on a residential job have a small unit or even a medium sized unit. They basically all work the same way. The main thing that you need to know about this is that there's a light right here on the front that gives you the status of the system. If you get right here in front and look into that light, you can see what's going on with the system. There's a chart either on the front, in this case it's on the side, that shows you what each of the light conditions is telling you the fault conditions are. For instance, if it's green, pretty much everything's normal. But if it's red, then the controller has shut the pump off for some fault condition. Some of those faults will automatically reset. For instance, two red blinks is the pump is running out of water. Well, after a one minute delay, it's gonna restart the pump. So that's an automatic restart. But some faults like the pump bound or something like that, it'll lock the pump out and won't let it restart. Know that you can reset any fault by going to the breaker, turning it off for a minute or so, just wait until that light completely goes out, turn the breaker back on, and then the pump will run under normal conditions unless there's another fault. If the controller does fault again, look at what the code is telling you and give us a call and tell us what that fault is. If you have no fault at all, you might look at other things. For instance, on this system, we have a valve here, and this valve is closed. So therefore, the irrigation system is not getting any water. If you open this valve, the water flows through the irrigation system and everything's working great. Another thing you might consider checking on is the filter. The filter could be stopped up. And we have a couple of different varieties of filters and we'll go into on another video how to clean your filter. If you suspect that you might have a leak in your irrigation system, the way to test for that is to go to your well system and cut off the discharge valve. Make sure that the pressure gauge comes up to normal pressure. This will tell you if your system is working properly and tell you if the problem is downstream in the irrigation system. If that's the case, everything works normally here, call your irrigator to come out and maybe find the leak or fix the leak. If the fault condition comes back after you've reset the breaker, call us and tell us what the fault condition is and we'll send a tech right out to get it fixed.